Hi everyone, my name is Kristen and today we're going to be painting this painting. So for what you're going to need, you're going to need acrylic paint. It's great for making mistakes since it's so fast drying, but it's not great for your clothes. So you're either going to want to wear clothes that you don't care about or you're going to want to wear an apron. Among the other things you're going to need, you're going to need brushes, uh, one small, one bigger one. You're going to need parchment paper or a paper plate or something to mix colors on. You're going to need paper towels. You're going to need a cup with water. Um, the water and paper towels are really so you can wash your brushes in between switching paint and you can wash them at the end. Then I'd also recommend an easel that will make your life a lot easier and maybe a glass of wine. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to put all your paint on either a paper plate or parchment paper or something along those lines. I generally like to put white in the middle since that's what you're going to be mixing with. Now for this piece, we're going to start with putting some blue, ultramarine blue, and we're going to figure out where the horizon line is. Now that's about, say like two thirds down the page, a little bit, maybe a little bit less. I'm going to figure it out there first. Now we're going to take uh, the big brush. Um, which... And we're going to make a yellow circle. Right about here. And we're going to mix this yellow with some white. So like so. Right? That color. And we're going to make a big circle. Okay, so now that we have that big circle, I'm going to take the same blue, which is ultramarine, it's almost like a blue-purple, we're going to mix it with that same yellow we just did. Now, we're going to be doing some blending, still in a circle. And the thing about blending is you want the paint to still be wet, and then you lightly go into the next shade of paint. Now, if I go too fast for you, you can always pause. And generally for this, um, you would use a round brush, but I don't have one today, so I'm using um, so then you're going to take your ultramarine and you're just going to get the rest of this guy here that you blended. And keep blending there. Now I'm also going to add a little bit of, just a little bit of black to these corners here and make it a little darker, but just a little bit.
You can mix it with a little bit of water if you want paint. So, I'm going to touch this up a little bit, add some of that green and blue-yellow back in. Okay. So, I'm also going to... This guy has a lot of color in it generally and a lot of depth. So I'm going to add some white just in here. Okay, so now we're going to take our black and I'll further define some of those horizon lines. So here's going to be some land, right? And on the other side, we'll have some land too. And now we're going to think about our ocean. So I'm going to have you mix a little bit of ultramarine some white but let's make it mostly ultramarine so we're looking at this color right here I just want you to take that color careful with the black now I'm gonna bring that all the way down Sorry if my easel shakes a little bit. It's kind of at a weird angle, so it fits in this screen. Just full disclaimer. So now we have the base of our painting. We're gonna let that dry for just a few minutes. Okay, so the next item we're gonna get is the cloud. And something um, to note here is when you want something to stand out in a painting, it's always good to have really high contrast. So um, in order to get the ship to stand out, having it right in front of the cloud really helps because of the high contrast in the uh, art piece. So we're gonna take some white, and your canvas is probably still a little wet, but you're just gonna dab, 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 just like that, over and over again. So see I'm just dabbing like that? Give a little bit of that horizon line a little. Because I like color, I'm going to add just a little bit of alizarin crimson. So we're going to mix it with white, like so. We have a little bit of pink 
shade to our cloud. Next, we're going to work on the sun. So we kind of want like an orange yellow like that. And you can get that by mixing red with yellow. Um, we want to make just in here. Now we also want to give it a little bit of depth. So just add a little bit of white here. I'm also going to add a little bit of red to the bottom. Just to make it look more, has more depth. I'm going to blend that like so. And so next we're going to want to get into the background. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to have color, streaks of color, um, right around pretty much all the stars and the moon and everything like that. So you're going to want to take your little brush, make it a lot easier. And the first color I'm going to do is pink, but you can really Decide whichever color you want to do. I'm gonna just go in a circle around this guy. Now I think I'm gonna put a few other stars in here. So let's place those while we're doing this. One over here looks good, maybe one here. Okay, so um, you can pretty much do any colors you want. So we're going to be doing swirls and circles primarily here. So I'm going to do like a light blue next. Do it. And I'm also going to do a nice little swirl coming off this guy. I want to do a green thing. So we're going to do green circle maybe right here. in again. We'll do it right around this little circle. Do it around this little circle. Okay. And now I think I'm gonna do a little bit of orange. Maybe add a little bit of orange to the clouds. Okay. 
Like I said, I really like color, so. And something to note about color is that generally when you use color somewhere, you kind of want to use it all over the place in your painting. Way it just looks even and balanced. Okay, so now we're gonna make the boat. Now, the boat is actually a fairly simple shape. Um, we're gonna take black again for this. What I'm gonna want you to do, actually, before we take that black, let's make the water around here a little bit lighter. I'm gonna take some blue. Some ultramarine. And mix it. I'm gonna make it a little bit lighter over here. Just so you can see the boat a little bit better. I'm still using that small brush right now. Um, okay, so we're gonna take this. I'm gonna think about this as like a Half circle shape. And then a little bit of a curve on top. So instead of going straight across, let's give it a little bit of a curve. And then we're gonna make a tall mass. So this is, as you can see, taller than the boat. I think I want to make it a triangle. Now we're going to just shade that all in. And for those of you who want to get a little more tricky. Put like a dot here. Looks like there's a person sailing the boat. Okay, so we're gonna leave that boat alone for just a minute while we do some of the other stuff here. So something we want to put into here are some rocks. So let's add some rocks. I'm gonna put some shape. So use your black. Here. Outlining them. Here. And maybe we do one here. So they don't need to be like exactly perfect. I think that's something you need to remember when you're painting. Not everything needs to be 100% perfect. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna do some fun little blending here. Um, I personally like purplish rocks, so I'm gonna mix alizarine crimson with ultramarine blue and some white. Which is getting me um, this color right here. So I'm gonna primarily make my rocks that color. I'm even going to add some of that to my distance. I'm going to make this two rocks. Okay, so now comes the trickier part. We're gonna look at the colors in the sky. So we have 
this beautiful yellow that we want to bring onto these rocks. So, mix up some yellow. We're going to just do slight little dabs. Feel at the very top, right? And then you can blend it a little bit with the bottom. Just so that makes it look like the light is reflecting off these rocks. Now we're going to blend it a little bit. have some rocks with some color on it. Um, now let's, let's add some blues. Now I have this nice light blue here. So I just like to apply color where I think it fits. So in this case I'm going to add a little bit of blue to these rocks here, a little bit of blue to this rock, and I'll add a little bit here too, and here, and I'm going to also add some pink, so we're going to just mix lizard and crimson with some white, and I'm going to add some pinks, just some nice rocks. So the next thing we want to think about is the water. Water obviously is going to have a lot more color to it than just the dark blue because there's so much happening in the sky. So I think the first thing we want to think about is this, we have a lot of yellow and orange right here from that sun, or moon rather. So I'm going to reflect that right back into the water. You're just going to make little lines, right? And we have another moon right or star right here, so we're going to put that here. And we have another one over here. We'll put those ones right there. Now we're going to want to put the other colors we have. So we have this nice green color here. We have it a little bit over here, so we're going to put them here. I'm just going to want to do some lines. Back and forth, back and forth. Okay, so we also have some pink. So I'm getting some alizarin and crimson mixed with pink again. I get that. Okay, let's see. Another color or something the same. I think I'm gonna just add some white so 
Now usually what I like to do to make sure this looks cohesive after I've done this is I like to add back in the original um, color. So right now I have the same ultramarine blue I was using. Okay, this is coming along. Add some more color if you feel like it needs it. Okay, so we're getting there. Okay, so the next thing I want to do, so I want to define this a little bit more, so I'm going to add a little bit more yellow. That line, and then I'm gonna add, let me add the black at the bottom here. Okay. And the boat also causes a reflection, so we're gonna have to add some black below it. Um, now we wanna add some more depth to the boat. So I'm going to use the same pink again. I'm just going to make a few little lines. Maybe I'll add a little bit of blue. And I will add Maybe just for a good measure, because I like color. A little bit of yellow. Okay. So, we'll re look at these lines, make sure they're crisp. And just for a little bit of extra good measure, I will be adding a little more cloud right behind the boat here. So, nice. Okay. So, once you are all set, you can sign your painting and you're good to go. Hope you enjoyed.